Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Statement. Indeed, it is possible that the Ithorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. My capabilities are quite expansive. Statement. The fool Thorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. I'll bet she does. She's decided I've finally worn out my welcome and she's fixed my droids to do her dirty work. Commentary. One would hope the female is better at repairs than Yukalaka. I still would like to crush his neck, Master. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix him. Could you try to do some repairs? They don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, Master. What's with all the droids lately? My wife get to you too? Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags. Except for the Master, of course. Uh... <coughs> Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Cautionary. I am unsure, Master. Now is not the time for speculation, however. I will attempt to address your question later. Translation. <laughs> I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief, as am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. 
Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Translation. Translation. He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful you will get agreement on much more than that. Translation. <laughs> Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Translation. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that he will not master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the histories. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Translation. Translation? He doesn't know, Master. 
is people usually kill outsiders since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on Tatooine. Fight one of those and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. Translation. <laughs> Translation, there is a dragon in the far eastern dune sea, but he claims you could never defeat it. Here is a map to the area. Translation, there is a hunt, a twilight, that is sometimes seen out there. Perhaps he would be of some help. Translation. Translation, stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently, they are valuable items. Translation. Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, this is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. He says you are blind. Translation. His people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. Translation. Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation, connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Translation. Translation, he says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation, if your kind had not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. Translation. Translation. Never. That is their way, Master. Protocol. Is that wise, Master? They may have assumed that the disguises you used were replicas. In Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Anybody else get the feeling that finding this star map in the back of this Great Dragon's cave is more than just a coincidence? Observation. There is tremendous power emanating from the star map. I wonder if the Great Dragon was drawn to this cave because of it. Yes, Master. I am certain you are correct. Now that we have what we came for, I do hope we will be leaving this world soon. I am growing so sick of sand in my circuits. Furry, what do you wish to ask of him, Master? Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. 
translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Protocol. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Translation. Translation. You have been told that to be considered worthy of hearing the histories, you need to bring him a dragon pearl from a great dragon. Translation. He says the discussion is closed until you fulfill this condition. He thinks you are just making fun of his traditions. Translation. Translation. He is stupefied, Master. He never thought you could return with such an item. Such a thing has not been done in many years. Translation. He will allow you to meet the storyteller, but also gives a warning. If you dare to repeat the histories incorrectly, you will be killed. Translation. The storyteller will be summoned to one of the rooms here in the Enclave. He seems to think this is a great honor for you, Master. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Translation. He identifies himself as the storyteller, Master. He has been told of your warrior skills and will speak the history to you. Translation. Translation. There is only one accepted history, passed orally to each successive generation. Translation. A book or data pad can be taken away, cheapening the value of what it contains. To commit it to paper or storage is to remove it from the people. Translation. Translation. You may choose to hear the history, or you may choose not to. Their history is a single entity that cannot be partitioned. Translation. The only exception is in continuing the tales once they have begun. If you leave, when you return, he will continue from where he left off. Translation. Translation. It begins with the ancient times. They were not sand people, for there was no sand. The land was green with life, and they walked without wrappings. Translation. Though the land was beautiful, they lived apart from the land. They built their walls high and saw beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation. There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders, before the abduction, before the cities fell, before the builders. Translation. Translation. His arrogant people touched the stars. This sin drew the attention of the Builders. The Builders did not touch the stars. They lashed them to millstones. Translation. Great demons of metal stripped the world of its riches until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities were lifted away. Translation. Those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars with penitent, adaptable slaves. Translation. Translation. There came a time when the builders were also judged for their crimes. After generations, a plague weakened them and the time of the Great War began. Translation, 
The builders faltered, and his people realized why they had been punished, so that they understood the crime, and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation, they worked chaos in the machines, so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe. Deep in cave homes carved from valley wall, they were free. Translation. <laughs> Editing, if I may, Master. This section of his tale details several millennia of the Long Walk, their nomadic wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world. Rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest bantha and move on to more recent things? Resignation. Very well, Master. Translation. The tribes spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand people and all cherished the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation. Then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation, these outsiders reminded them of their past transgression, of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient abducted. Translation, so it is to the current sons that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Editing. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. Cautionary. I should warn you, Master, that any questioning of their interpretation may be seen as trying to change the meaning of what was said. Clarification. They may consider this to be speaking the words in error, a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Impatience. Master, I refuse to inconvenience you with this. He spouted names of petty tribal fights in deserts so distant they might as well be across the galaxy. Really, Master, I'm sure it's important to him, but it has nothing of value that you could ever put to use. Clarification. The occupying force suffered some sort of species-wide plague that lowered their numbers over time. His people used this extended weakness to sabotage their larger ships. The response of the builders appears to have been to lay waste to the entire surface of Tatooine. Doubting. They didn't, Master. They struck a blow. But the storyteller only believes they won because the builders were gone when they emerged from their caves. That does not mean they defeated anyone. It seems clear that the builders simply sterilized their problem and left. The enemy judged them not worthy to fight. Clarification. I may not have properly conveyed how long they fought with the builders. Given time, any number of armaments could destroy a world. Hypothesis. Perhaps this is another distortion. Their climate may have begun to fail due to their unrestrained development even before the builders arrived. Looking back thousands of years later, such a shift could easily be attributed to the much-hated conquerors. Obedient. I will ask whatever you wish, Master. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave.
Objection. Worn out? Listen, you talentless organic meatbag. One word from my master and I will pull you apart limb from useless limb. I have always been hostile. Now that I need no longer rely on you and your primitive maintenance skills, I do not need to hide it. Observation. I am not a problem, you useless organic meat bag. You and your lack of any organized mechanical skills are a problem. Query. Can I kill him now, master? I would like ever so much to crush his neck. Just a little. It is a long-time fantasy of mine. You hear that, meatbag? I will be back. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. Answer. I believe I have been damaged several times in the past, Master. I have always been repaired, but perhaps full functionality has not been restored. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master, but there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. Appeasement. Yes, Master. Of course, Master. Could we begin? Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Explanation. Affirmative, Master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation itself. This is not the case. The human purchased me privately. 
Answer, negative master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. Affirmative, Master. Though I had not been programmed to do so, the human's termination was accidental. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Information. This HK-47 unit is complete with protocol that, when invoked, will set me to independently carry out a termination. I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement. Unfortunately, the assassination protocol is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Answer. Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master. Sad though that is. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of Sizetech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. Sizetech was responsible for the product, after all. I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of Sizetech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. Objection? Naturally not, master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Statement. I was only doing as I was told, master. I would have told the human the proper codes to deactivate my protocol, had he asked. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Sizetech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Observation. So am I, master. Though I apologize for not having an assassination mode to offer you. Assessment. I do not believe so, Master. It would require complete dismantlement of my chassis. A most involved procedure. I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. Statement. 
It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Answer. I am unsure, Master. Any knowledge of my owner prior to him is still deleted. The Senator did assume I was a protocol droid, however. I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a Senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the Senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the Senator had me eliminate the fool. Observation. I rather liked the human myself. For a meat bag, his priorities were in the right place. I felt most useful. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become Chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. Answer. There are a lot of politicians on Coruscant, Master. I could spend decades slaughtering them and still not make a dent. And it is not as if I walked into the Senate chambers with a carbonite explosive. I was very discreet. My best work to date that I can remember. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack, but my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. Observation. Only so far, master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? Observation. I find that unlikely. Perhaps he was more concerned that the death of his wife would be more likely traced back to him. Statement. I believe the Senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core, and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior to the Senator, Master. Most unexpected. Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the Senator, I was the property of one Bochaba the Hutt on the planet Slaheron. Objection. That is unfair, Master. While Bochaba may have died gruesomely, I most certainly had nothing to do with it. Well... Very little. Hmm. My memories tell me that, for a time, Bochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him with this reputation greatly. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. These contracts made Bochaba very wealthy. Answer. That is correct, Master. I do enjoy my work. Though my past owners have enjoyed utilizing my functions far more. Strictly speaking, one meat bag is the same as another. Anything I do is in support of my master. It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. 
I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange retaliated. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon my return, however. Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. At any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. Observation. It would have suited my character, Master. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less, so I do not miss it. Observation. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. As well, I believe I can restore several programs the hut installed to improve my performance. Yes, they are now active, contemplative. I wonder how many more dead masters I might have out there. A droid can live for a long time, you know. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered the last of my deleted memory, Master. Unfortunately, my history is still not complete. Answer. As I did inform you, Master, the majority of my memory is still locked within my core. That can only be accessed by the appropriate stimuli. And I have no idea what that stimuli might be, unfortunately. Sadly, it seems my true origins will always be a mystery. Observation. If it was, Master, your restorations will certainly have ensured that the proper stimulus restores my core's functions. Sadly, that could have already happened and we missed it, and my core was too damaged to activate. Oh, woe is me. Query. Wouldn't you be master? Here I am, surrounded by all these meat bags, and all I desire is true perfection. Surely there are more droids like me out there. Or is that too much to hope? Objection. Oh, fine. Laugh at me, master. Humiliate your pet droid. Go ahead. Correction. That would actually be my first owner, Master. The first I can remember. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space, though I have no knowledge of what my target was or who sent me. Regardless, my motor function had been damaged and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as Booty, I believe. He repaired me, poorly, I might add, and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to raise his rank. Query. Do you not have enemies that you would desire eliminated, Master? If my protocol still worked, would you not use it? Statement. C. I provide a function that is useful to others. They merely must learn to use it properly, I believe. At any rate, it seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. My poorest performance, sadly. Answer. I was captured by this Mandalore during the attempt. He was able to reverse my programming and send me after my own master. It was quite distressing. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, I believe I eventually ended up on the black market and was sold to the hut on Slaheron. <sighs> My darkest day. Statement. With all due respect, Master, he is the leader of the Mandalorians. Perhaps my old master was foolish to send me after him.
statement? So I did. I am not very proud of that, Master. The soldiers seem very startled, I must say. Objection. That is so unfair, Master. Have I not brought you a great deal of satisfaction? Statement. You are a very harsh master, Master. I like you. Answer. There are a few Mandalorian implants that I can activate now. They will improve my performance. Beyond that, Master, there is nothing more I can relate to you. With luck, we will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, Master. While you are a meat bag, I suppose I should not call you such. Explanation. It's just that you have all these squishy parts, Master, and all that water. How the constant sloshing doesn't drive you mad, I have no idea. Statement. Now do you understand the travails of my existence, Master? Surely it does not compare to your existence, but still. Commentary. As do I. It is our lot in life, I suppose, Master. Shall we find something to kill to cheer ourselves up? Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers, to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Commentary. That's the way to tell the meatbags, Master. Charging weapons just in case. This should be fun. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshday? Not enough to save your sorry self. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the Academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Observation. Marvelous elimination of the enemy master. I applaud you. Pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Statement. My construction includes a reserve memory chip and backup power supply that automatically kicks in if I have been shut down too long. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap, and I can come rescue the rest of you after I reactivate. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. We're coming aboard. Nobody try anything and we'll vaporize your entire ship. These are the three we are supposed to watch out for, Commander, but there's more inside. Bring them all. Throw them in the prison. Lord Malik will want to speak with them.
Astola, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Carath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled hunter-killer droid in the back of the ship. Excellent. We can reprogram this droid to fight in our own army, wipe its memory chip, and take it to the salvage shop. The technicians will deal with it later. is all over, I'm gonna see the Republic gives you a medal for your part in this. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Explanation. I believe so, Master. I was unaware of my homing system until it had been activated. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original Master. Affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. Statement. Yes, Master. Mew created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. Observation. In many ways you are, Master, yes. You have much of the beloved cruelty of the Master I knew. You seem to have forgotten much, but in some ways you seem improved from the human I once knew. It is... difficult to explain, Master. Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. As you desire, Master. Signing off. <laughs>